Alright guys, so today we are going to be going ahead and having a look at the brand new update that Warzone actually had last night. So there was a lot of global fixes and a lot of bug fixes inside Warzone that needed to be done and we are on the verge of literally having the brand new Warzone map on the 7th of December. We've also literally 8 days away from having Modern Warfare 3 here. So there's a lot of fixes and a lot of changes going to start going to happen with Warzone in regards to reducing the big update that will happen on the 7th of December. They don't want it to take so long uh, of, of an update update so they're trying to get everything fixed before then and change a few little bits but if you guys do enjoy today's video make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new turn on post notifications as you don't want to miss a single video here on the channel and also with all being said guys if you haven't already you need to make sure you've installed the campaign if you have pre-ordered the game you can actually go ahead and play it as of now from a roughly about two hours ago you was eligible to go ahead and play it from me recording this video so you guys definitely want to be hopping on and going ahead and playing that I know I'm gonna be grinding that there's a lot of rewards that I have discussed prior in previous videos that you can actually go ahead and unlock so if you want to go check those videos out as well see what you can unlock in the campaign that'd be awesome feel free to do so I'll leave them linked down below with all being said let's actually go ahead and have a look at all the patch notes that's actually happened within Warzone so as of Wednesday November the 1st there was like I said a lot of global bug fixes um, and then we also had some Warzone adjustments and bug fixes as well um, so let's get down this list and discuss what they've gone ahead and fixed so there has been an update which includes several fixes fixes for known crashes. There's also been a fixed an issue that could cause the fetching online profile message to hang. Fixed an issue that could kick the player to the main menu when trying to access the campaign via the new game option. Fixed an issue where this skeleton operator's staff was misaligned with his hands when using a finishing move. Fixed an exploit on Embassy where an area lacked collision, allowing players to hide in an unintended location during the zombies infected. Fixed an issue where the alien death ray weapon blueprint had an attachment combination of possible under normal customization fixed an issue where ads view was obscured in the third person when using the lilith operator also fixed an issue where high velocity rounds were not able to hit enemies under the surface of water fixed an issue where previewing some gun screens would cause an incorrect menu to display fixed an issue that could cause navigating the group menu to kick players back to the main menu fixed an issue that could cause the players total soul amount to display incorrectly after a rewards purchase in the events tab which I've had that issue quite a bit I know I've had a lot more souls than it was showing which has been frustrating um, but at least that's fixed for people they've also fixed an issue where confirming the language settings in the main menu could cause an error uh, fixed this fixed several issues that could cause an error when navigating in the battle pass fixed an issue with the Tempest Razorback Hellspawn weapon blueprint had an incorrect optic display in the menu fixed an issue where the sacking mg38 treat weapon blueprint print was missing a visible smoke effect fixed an issue that could cause a crash when rapidly entering and exiting the kill street page within the weapons tab also fixed an issue where rapidly entering and exiting the emblem page could kick the player out of the menu fixed an issue where the soap operator name displayed incorrectly fixed an issue where an error could occur when attempting to load into a team deathmatch private match on shipment also fixed an issue where the player could lose control of a kill streak if eliminated while operating the kill streak fixed an issue where players could encounter a frozen screen during the battle pass intro video on some new accounts also fixed an issue where juggernauts would sometimes not appear during the final fight in the atom grad raid episode 4 fixed an issue where the m4 union guard weapon blueprint displayed a placeholder image in the combat detail widget also fixed an issue where a number of weapon blueprints and placeholder image display in the combat detail widget fixed an issue where a placeholder the image appears in the hood when the player is eliminated by an mrap turret also adjusted the brightness of the flow through camo fixed an issue where players that received a temporary ban could get an incorrect message saying they were, are permanently banned which is a good fix because if you've only been banned for a week or so and it's saying you're permanently banned it does kind of neg you out and you can't play the game anymore that's what you would have thought but they've fixed that issue and they've also fixed an issue where attachments with skins could lock the default attachment and also fixed an issue where a placeholder name was appearing in a weapon unlock notification so that's all like the global fixes that's being fixed so stuff in the menus there is a lot of stuff there for you guys to go ahead and listen to um if you guys want to have a little read of it yourself so you get more understanding i will leave a link down below so you can go ahead and see all the patch notes and you can see all the previous patch notes there it is pretty much just on the call of duty website for you guys to go ahead and check but let's have a quick look what's being fixed adjusted etc in the war zone itself just war zone only so in regards to war zone then um the adjustments that they've changed they've increased the total number of possible
possible active duty operator slots in DMZ and they've reduced the number of stims dropped by minions when fighting the butcher. Um, the bug fixes then there's a few here so they have fixed an issue that could prevent players from receiving the, the undead runes decal correctly. Fixed an exploit allowing players to store multiple weapons when carrying a hostage. Fixed some collision and geo issues in Von Dead. They've also fixed an issue where cash dropped by the butcher was incorrect increments and they've also fixed an issue that could allow the swarm creature to attack players during their exfil sequence after winning a match. They've also fixed an issue where bartering for a disguise at the scavengers buy station would only yield a disguise at 0% would disappear upon any health damage taken. Fixed an issue where the chalkboards do not display the correct writing when using the R40 detector in building 21 and they've also fixed an issue where players could avoid being attacked by the UFO if they have the cold blooded perk. Fixed an issue where the swamp creature would respawn in the gas after completing the event in DMZ. Fixed an issue where receiving, where reviving a player that had pled for help in DMZ after a squad wipe could result in issue performing the revive. Fixed an issue where having multiple active duty operator selected in DMZ could cause a screen flicker in the operator select screen. Also fixed an issue where a red light can briefly appear when entering an LTV and fixed an issue where having the scavengers buy station open in DMZ when it is destroyed will allow the player to access an unintended buy station menu. Fixed an issue where Captain Silver's briefcase would not be opened in DMZ and fixed an issue where an error message could occur when using the Doom Chainsaw Blueprint. So that's everything that's been fixed both Global and Warzone. Quite a lot there for you guys to you know die, have a dig in and have a little look and see what's been done. Like I said we'll leave a link down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But like I said there is quite a bit there. I didn't realise this update happened because uh, I wasn't around near my desk or before or anything last night when it happened hence no video on it um so hence making the video now so like i say campaign is currently open to be played across all platforms if you pre-ordered the game on modern warfare 3 so if you guys have got the chance to go ahead and play that feel free to do so if you have already completed it or if you are mid process of completing it let me know how you're getting on down below let me know your thoughts and opinions on it i'd like you know be very interesting to see what you guys are thinking about that if you're excited for modern warfare 3 make sure you smash that thumbs up subscribe if you're new but as always guys i'll catch you on the next video